The non-proliferation program at uh, King's College London uh, is an integral part of the Centre for Science and Security Studies here at King's College London in the War Studies Department uh, and we strive very much to involve our uh, graduate students in uh, the activities of the centre, research projects, uh, simulations and the like. Well, what I love about the MA non-proliferation is that it's um, IR theory in practice. I consider myself first and foremost an IR theorist, but IR theory is only important um, to the extent that it actually helps us understand what goes on in the world. Um, and the MA non-proliferation is a great exercise in doing that. We use theories and concepts drawn from IR theory to, exp to explain and explore why states pursue these weapons, but also the factors that influence the success, failure, and choice by states of different strategies to address non-proliferation. Our students come from all over the world, from South Korea to China to Brazil to Norway. And what that means is we get a whole load of different perspectives and insights brought together in the classroom. Um, and the good thing about our MA is that you don't need to come from any particular background. We have students with backgrounds in the humanities, from the humanities to the hard sciences. Everything you need is provided, all the skills and knowledge you need, we provide. So that's one good thing about the program. I picked uh, the program because I'm from a liberal arts and sciences background, so very broad. And I figured it would be very interesting to look at conflict from a very sort of technological niche approach. In our core module, we focus not only on developing a substantive knowledge of non-proliferation and proliferation issues, but also on the development of key skills, critical analysis, um, communication, um, and writing skills. My core course is uh, non-proliferation and international security, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very small course, with only five students in the masters. Uh, and it's a very intense course because our teachers are very eminent specialists, and at the same time, a lot of students are very passionate about non-proliferation. Um, and there's a lot to be learned. There's policy, there's international agreements, there's strategy, there's tactics, there's how do you build weapons, how do we prevent people from building weapons. So um, we cover a lot of ground uh, in the entire year that is our, our core course. Uh, so I really, really like that. At the end of uh, each year currently, we take our students uh, on a week-long uh, arms control simulation uh, in Norway. Um, but we do try to involve the students in other research projects too. So we have a very broad research agenda which is funded uh, by several organisations, government organisations uh, and foundations, spanning the range of nuclear security issues from non-proliferation, counter-proliferation, uh, nuclear disarmament, arms control and also uh, the emerging or the growing agenda of uh, preventing nuclear terrorism. So we involve our students as, as interns when we have opportunities to do so. So I think the non-proliferation program uh, is one of those programs at King's where you are truly embedded in the research-led experience here in London. Studying in London I think has been a very good choice because first of all King's College is a very good school and in war studies it's very, very well known. So you're here, people are in sort of a constant state of excitement of being able to work with great professors. Uh, and at the same time in London itself there's other universities, but there's also a lot of think tanks, there's a lot of organizations that deal with conflict, there's a lot of NGOs. Uh, so um, you can, even beyond university, you can go out and get sources and find new things to learn about that have to do with what you want to do later. Being in London uh, is an incredible opportunity, and I think our program um, really demonstrates that. Being at the center of an international city provides unique opportunities that you do not get in many other places around the world. Students really come away with a wide skill set communication skills, presentation skills, critical analysis. You know, there's a lot of opportunity for our, our alumni. London is the, you know, the financial uh, heart of Europe, uh, if, not, if not the world, and with a large legal sector too, and many of our graduates do end up working for uh, companies in the legal and the financial sector. But we also do have then people who go on into careers that are specifically based on what they've learned uh, on our program and not just the broader skill set. So we have people that have ended up working in relevant posts in the UK government, uh, also in the United States, uh, and we have placed people at the International Atomic Energy Agency too.